Hello guys, so today we'll be looking at the Umi Digi Bison. Uh, this phone is really nice uh, for its durability and specifications. Uh, so we'll just look at the features there. What it's about. So first of all, it's also waterproof and dustproof. And honestly, even from the design, it looks to be much more durable than your normal UmiDJ phone or another phone that you can find on the market. So talking about the main features, it has a 48 uh, a megapixel quad camera from Sony and a 24 megapixel selfie camera. Uh, these are all nice for budget to mid-range phone because honestly uh, when you look at the price of this device and the specifications they are not even at par you can never find a, a, a device uh, better than this at this specific price range unless uh, maybe it's on a giveaway or uh, there's some discounts coupon there so talking about the uh, waterproof resistance it's ip68 and ip69k Actually, I haven't seen this IP69K, so uh, this might mean that the phone is actually better than most uh, waterproof phones that, that you can find. Maybe an iPhone or a Samsung uh, Galaxy phone. Usually those are waterproof, but this one has more proofing than that, so uh, it becomes even more durable. Uh, talking about the RAM, it's more than enough at 6GB and 128 gb of storage uh, this might also be increased in case uh, there are two different models that you can choose from and it's also having a very fast method of transferring data which is the ufs 2.1 this enables the phone to copy and get data at a faster rate than normal phones uh, using another using the i believe it's the mui emcc storage version so this is actually faster uh, most flagship phones usually use ufs 2.1 so this is just the overview but another thing that i've seen that has shocked me is that the phone is shockproof so in case you work at an electric company and maybe your phone uh, gets exposed to the uh, an electrical cable it won't explode and also dust proof uh, we just uh, saw the example of the video uh, that was shown by umi dg uh, so for the durability this uh, is actually the best durable phone that i've seen in any uh, price range you can correct me if i'm wrong but I've, i haven't seen this rating in any phone so it also has a uh, different buttons that enable you to push to talk and have underwater camera so in case you are in the army maybe the u.s army and you know that maybe you operate on uh, conditions that are not normal maybe you you uh, you don't want your phone to be uh, captured that's why they enable the push to talk so that uh, maybe it can help you in privacy or just to ensure that someone is not tapping on your calls so in case you're also underwater maybe you're just going to dive uh, you can take cameras because it's waterproof and also there's a specific button for that and they're also customizable so maybe you can change uh, the camera button to be on a different side and the push to talk to be on a different side uh, depending on your specifications so another thing that probably there's other phones having it but it's very rare unless it's a dura 
it's uh, one of these phones is the barometer and e-compass uh, maybe if you're a tour guide or maybe working in the army this might be useful for you uh, this just shows the direction and other useful things so concerning the battery it's also one of the biggest uh, batteries that you can find in uh, most Android phones this is the 5000 uh, milliamp hour battery that charges uh, quite fast at 18 watts so this is also the first that I've seen in an OMIDG phone I believe they usually don't have a con Gorilla Glass but for this one it does so uh, whenever the phone falls it's not going to be like other phones where they break uh, but uh, even before that I, I normally use an OMIDG F5 Pro and it has fallen a number of times yet the screen hasn't broken and yet it's not a conning gorilla glass so i can just imagine how durable that phone will be so about the screen size and resolution uh, it's 6.3 uh, inches which is slightly larger than most phones but not the largest and it's also having a full uh, full hd plus resolution uh, which is quite normal for UMIDG. You'll get the, uh, a bright screen, maybe the videos and everything will show uh, very clear. And it's also uh, full screen. So most of the screen is uh, taken even to the edge. Yeah, so uh, one thing that I didn't know is that the phone is also having liquid cooling system. So I believe there is another UMIDG phone uh, with this that I haven't seen. But actually if this one has it, it means that the performance will be really nice. In case you also play games, uh, this is a good option for you because it has 6 GB of RAM and 128 GB of storage. So in case you play Fortnite, uh, on my UMIDG F5 Pro it also plays. So I can just imagine how much uh, power it's going to be on this phone. Uh, and how well it's going to play so talking about the Google Pay it's going to feature that and also NFC NFC uh, this means that when you place uh, the phone on maybe a reader a card reader it's going to be it's going to act as a card you don't need to uh, use your card you can just use, swipe your phone and your payment will go through so talking about the Android it's going to have Android 10 uh, this is expected and just talking just looking at the design this phone looks to be really durable I'm not sure which material they use at the back uh, probably something more harder than aluminium or uh, slightly metallic It looks so durable yet so compact. Okay, uh, since they have mentioned the IP, IP69K, we can just search that. So it's a very high level of protection as indicated in this. So these are the two different buttons. You can customize them according to your needs uh, which is uh, really nice to see uh, in this phone customization is always welcomed let me know what you guys think at the comment section and remember to like and subscribe and in case you don't want to miss other umidg phone releases and a deep dive into the phones so about the camera it's going to be nice but i'm not sure how uh, optimized the umidg phones are of late but 48 megapixel is really nice and i expect it to capture clear photos so these are the different photos it has a macro lens ultra wide and i believe a portrait mode
yeah so for this we're done uh, maybe we can just look at the liquid cooling uh, this means that the phone will really perform well uh, while heavy gaming because the processor won't overheat and for the processor I believe it's using a Helio P60 which is relatively powerful somewhat compar comparable to this uh, Snapdragon 730 if I'm not wrong so we can just look at the specifications quickly then we look at the price and whether it's a good combination you can choose uh, it in different colors whether the cyber yellow or the lava orange and for the CPU we didn't take a look at that it's the Helio P60 uh, this isn't the fastest processor that Umidigi has if you're looking for power actually I'd consider the Umidigi F okay let me just search but I think it's the Umidigi S2 no it's the Umidigi S5 Pro so this one has which does the Helio G90T this is the best processor from MediaTek okay so looking at that at other features uh, these are the dimensions it's pretty tall for any phone because usually the, uh, the fonts are, are sized at around 5.6 uh, something or even 6 point something but this one is 6.3 so it's roughly huge so for the GPU I also believe that this is quite powerful and quite recent so can it capture 4k image now I don't think it can capture 4k but also for the 1080p it records at 30 fps not 60 uh, which is a bit of a disappointment from Umidigi actually this is the only disadvantage that I've seen in this phone but uh, about AI the phone has I'm not sure I don't think it's uh, you should be looking at this unless uh, maybe you look I think uh, when you're buying a phone most times I think you should be looking at the manufacturer whether they have uh, maybe a good operating system in the camera because uh, any phone can include AI but capturing images usually just depend on the brand uh, if you get maybe a Huawei phone and an iPhone and a Samsung flagship phone they usually have better cameras uh, but this one the 48 megapixel one is going to make it to be at least ni quite nice so we have looked at everything apart from this uh, it's going to have a side mounted fingerprint uh, this depends on the user if you prefer it being there now it depends on you so those are the features we'll just look at the price uh, I've looked at the phone and I think it should be sold some somewhere around four hundred dollars because uh, you'll be getting water cooled a water cooled phone having 6 GB of RAM and 128 GB of storage most phones with that usually are priced around $400 but because this is Umidigi we just have to check and see how much I'm wrong by so the phone is selling at $299 which is almost $100 less than I had expected and also uh, this is what without the discounts when the discounts come the phone can even go to around at $21 or even $25 uh, with all those features that you have seen and actually here they, they are saying I think I've seen somewhere it's premiering at $149 uh, which is just uh, 
too nice for it's just a too uh, a very nice price and i recommend that all of you uh, who are interested in this phone during october 16th to 17th make sure you find the phone and you buy it so that's all for today have a nice day